Hello, everyone. Welcome. And it's a pleasure to take a session on how events have become a strategic public relations tool and the importance of event in the entire marketing and communication chain. So here we go. Let me share a presentation with you and discuss how have events become a driving tool of public relations. I'm Neha Jaiswal. I'm HOD for School of Media at Pearl Academy. So, what are events? I'm sure that you have all gone through several sessions understanding events, but just to reiterate so that our session ahead is totally based on this. So what are events? Events undoubtedly are an important tool for a company or a brand's PR strategy. So what is a simple definition of events? It's a planned public or social occasion. It could be a public gathering for marriage, celebrations, birthday celebrations, convocation, or reunions, alumni reunions. Yes, so it's a live and real engagement. It has to be preconceived, conceptualized, customized to achieve a client or a brand's objective. Meant for a specific target audience. And it is a complete sensual experience. It's a two-way interaction because this is where brands experience comes into play. So there is no doubt that events become an important brand communication tool. Father of public relations. What is public relations? So let's hear this definition from the father of public relations, Edward Barney. He said, public relations are the attempt by information, persuasion, adjustment to engineer public support for an activity, a cause, a movement, or an institution. Uh, Edward Barney, this is about 1929, when he used event as an important and a strategic tool for a particular brand, it was Lucky Strikes. Though tobacco advertising is now banned, but whenever we talk about Edward Barney, or we talk about history of public relations, we discuss this green ball campaign. Yes, this was to promote cigarettes for women called Lucky Strikes. And what he did was he engaged fashion designers to launch this green ball campaign. And it's worth reading about the strategy. I have a small video which we will play after this. He targeted women's market and he sent a message that it's about women's liberation. And while he, while he integrated fashion designers into it, he urged fashion designers to use the color green as the color of the season. And French couturiers launched collections with the color green because that specific dark green shade was the packaging of Lucky Strikes. I hope you enjoyed that. These are some of the glimpses of Edward Barney's Green Ball campaign. But in this digital age, an important question in everyone's mind is, why are events still so important in our PR strategies, especially when our digital media spend and engagement is growing, right? Each one of us is heavily on social media. There are messages reaching us through social media. So why are events, these engagement, these public engagements are so important for a brand? Okay. Events are important because they allow for an engaging experience with the target audience, which ultimately leaves a memorable experience than a passive one. Like... You know, if you view a print ad or a tele watch a television ad or even when you get ads on social media, that is a one-way interaction. 
it is not at all interactive if you say but although covid 19 times have introduced lots of digital events yes yet webinars have grown but the experience of gatherings is immense without going into details of what are the types of events or you know because you would have had several lectures several videos on this what are the types of events we need to understand one clearly why are we holding this event simply because we want to hold one or is there clarity on are people aware about our brand so is that our purpose or is it about just the overall umbrella of event marketing so where and how are we going to hold this event number one our objective is it to increase the brand awareness and the product awareness okay so if that is so if you're looking to build and establish your brand events are one of the most impactful ways to bring a product alive to tell a story it is one of the very powerful ways in fact in a study it says that 93% of consumers felt live events had a larger influence on them than television ads and in fact a report by the content marketing institute revealed that 75% of content marketers found in person events to be the most effective content marketing strategy so that's why we do emphasize in all our pr sessions when i teach public relations it is important for all pr professionals to understand that pr thrives on events there are huge you know benefits that you get through events in your pr strategy so whether it could be in person events like trade shows conferences seminars networking events or it could also be webinars yes so let's see our next objective could be to introduce new products and services so if we want to improve, you know uh, launch new products and services events are the best way in fact we have some videos of how do you have a brand activation or a brand engagement when you're launching a brand so we will watch that 98% of users stated that they felt more inclined to purchase a product after attending an activation or an event because events give you an huge opportunity to engage directly with your customers it gives you feedback remember all events when you engage with your customers it gives you a feedback of the product experience or the service it experience it could be a simple breakfast presentation it could be a movie preview whatever but engagement with your target audience is extremely important and events offer excellent opportunities for sponsorships as well so it's not always important to hold your own event it could also be through sponsorships now sponsorships is a separate topic which will be dealt with separately in your curriculum but to understand just a small example ipl it's a huge event globally and specifically for all of us in india because it's the premier league for cricket for us and so many brands advertise and there are various forms of advertisements and very innovative ones too right okay so how have events become potential as a pr tool and how could we harness the same to its potential which is so important all events have great potential but how do we harness the best so in order to harness the potential of events we must set measurable goals which means goals of the events should be very clear it should be listed the objectives should be very clear broken down into target audience geo geo target audience also it is extremely important to measure the success of this post event because if you do not have measurable goals 
you will never be able to measure your success. Ask these questions to your clients again and again till you get clarity. Your second important point is have a clear theme. Now, a clear theme means you can't have five messages communicated through one event. No, it has to be one important message that is communicated through the entire experience of the event. So a cohesive event experience is, or the visual identity has to reflect the brand's essence. It's all about aesthetics. How will your venue look? What will be there on the menu? What will the event collaterals look like? The same creative has to be used across different phases of your event. Because you cannot have a separate creative for your social media, a separate color for your invitation. And when someone reaches the event venue, there is a different branding altogether. You cannot have that. That is misleading. So it is very important to have a clear theme and a visual identity for your event. Create a multifaceted or a multi-layered event promotion plan. Okay. It's important to know there is no point putting in a lot of hard work in organizing the event if the chairs there are going to be empty. You need to promote the event as well. Just for example, we produce films, Bollywood produces films. In order to promote that film, they organize premieres. In order to promote premieres and an audience at the premieres, they send out special invitations to target audience and reach out to the rest through media. So that is why you see huge crowd outside premiere or previews. Yes, it's important to promote your event as well, to generate maximum interest by using a mix of say emails, social media, public relations, and some paid promotions also to get the word out. You must start communicating early enough. It cannot be that your event is tomorrow and you start your publicity a week. No, it's not enough. So you must plan out promotions for your event also. And that is what a shared brand experience is all about that events have to be well planned. Come to the next one. Go social. Go social shamelessly, please. Because today, the amount of time that people spend on social media on an average is over six hours. So you cannot ignore digital marketing at all. Whether it's for your brand service or your event, which you are using for your brand experience. So you must have simple tactics, hashtags, your event hashtags, Twitter, on Twitter, Facebook. You must put out your special ads also. Put out some previews or just some teasers on social media. It's important that you can have n number of ways to promote that on social media and remember one thing you can't just stop after the event is over both pre-event and post event promotions are important both in social media as well as otherwise so after your event is over you must push out some feedbacks, comments of your target audience or people who attended. It's or some glimpses of the event itself. It is important for a build up for maybe for your next event. Yes. So it is important to set measurable goals, have a clear theme, create a multifaceted or a multi layered event promotion plan, go social and focus on pre and post event promotions that will help you even nurturing your leads. Okay. Having said this now, remember one thing that it is 
events that are so integrated with the pr and the marketing activities and some of the and some of the common events are it could be press conferences it could be your brand launches it could be a trade show seminars these are the remember marriages are also events but for this class today we will focus only on business and trade events take 10 minutes just list down all events that you have visited in last one year in last one year just remember it could be a fashion show or it could be a press conference it could be a trade show or an exhibition just list down all the events that you have visited in this last one year after you have listed try to recall how did you get to know about these events were you invited were you did it come to you on social media on your handle did someone tag you did your friends tell you and then you looked out for the invite how did it happen just list it i'm sure it will help you further because what we are going to discuss next is important with this okay so have you listed did you find out how were you invited to these events what kind of target audience was there who reached out to you have a list of that and related it with your previous classes that you had regarding categories of events and the target audience it will help you to create a plan for promotions of your events okay let's go next what i'm going to show you next is a small video of a big brand unilever and its brand called life boy how life boy integrated with maha kumbh mela and launched this campaign have a look diarrhea still kills 1.1 million children annually in developing countries life boy believes this can be averted the maha kumbh mela india 2013 the largest religious festival on the planet over 100 million people come here to pray together live together and eat together life boy so saw this as the perfect opportunity to convey an important message always wash your hands with soap before you eat a medium the roti or indian bread served with almost every indian meal and the only way to eat it is with your hands we created a heat stamp capable of leaving a simple message on a roti Did you wash your hands with Life Boy? And over 30 days, a team of 100 people stood in 100 kitchens, stamping over 2.5 million fresh rotis, helping us to reach out to over 5 million visitors at the Maha Kumbh Mela. So, will people remember to wash their hands before their next meal? Let's pray they do. Yes, watched it. Interesting, isn't it? Did you observe how they used a simple tool like a roti as a communication tool? and it was integrated also with the same message on the outdoor media so this was a word of mouth which was created through all the dhabas and the langars that you have at mahakumbh mela 
one of the best tools that they reached out to masses through this. Yes, it required a lot of planning. You cannot execute an event without a good plan. Okay, let's go next. Here you go. Now this brand has aligned social media beautifully with its PR and event strategy. It was launch of their new car. Watch, how did they align social media with an offline event? It's called Undress the Twingo. Watch it. Yes, you liked it. Interesting, isn't it? How each tweet was adding to the interest in that Twingo launch. Okay, now come to the third one. This is again another very interesting one. Save for the last. Yes, this is our favorite brand, Coca Cola. And how Coca Cola created a drinkable advertising campaign it was one of the brand activation strategies watch it here and come back to get more people to try coke zero we created an entire campaign that they could literally drink First, we built a billboard that served real Coke Zero to thousands of fans. Then, we poured Coke Zero to people all over the country. Your TV is about to pour you a Coke Zero. This is a drinkable commercial. We partnered with Shazam and created a new way of using their technology. Shazam now to drink it. By Shazamming the spot, the Coke Zero from the screen was poured right into people's phones, whether they were at home, at a concert, or among 80,000 people at the NCAA final game. Every interaction ended with a free Coke Zero that could be redeemed at major retail stores across the US. Even when there was no screen, we poured Coke Zero using just sound. From ads that became cups, to flyers that became straws, to tweets that poured Coke Zeros into 140 characters. To drinkable posters that use Shazam to turn people's phones into digital straws. Every single ad put a Coke Zero in people's hands. So next time you're thirsty, drink an ad. Enjoyed it? Yes. So, friends, my invitation to you is you have Google, you have YouTube, just Google some of the latest innovative and very interesting campaigns that brands have launched. These were just a few that I showed you in the class. But 
there are many more interesting examples. You will love it because events are something which are integral to public relations and promotions of a brand. So happy events and happy PR. My next class will be all about how to integrate fashion shows as your important PR and communication tool. Okay. See you there.